Hi, thanks for letting me interview you. Um, and what's your name? My name is Rebecca Burdett. I'm okay. from New Paltz, New York. New Paltz, great. And why are you here today? Um, my husband is paddling. Ooh. Um, I know. Went in at Rensselaer at Troy, joined up. Um, he's an environmental educator okay. and is very committed to environmental causes and to the, committed to the rights of indigenous people. So this was a natural. He's also a writer. Oh. And uh, What's his name? His name is Rich Parisio. Okay. So he does a column in New Paltz called Nature at Your Doorstep. And so he's going to be chronicling his epic journey awesome. down the river in Nakaya. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm really concerned how, how are their arms after miles and miles of paddling. Well, it was, he decided about t about six weeks before the beginning of the paddle to join. And he wasn't sure that they needed another non you know, native ally. They, I'm sure they could use as many right. non-native allies so as they can. Yeah. He really did a big work. He had done a lot of paddling in calm waters, but not in the Hudson. Okay. And it was a different experience. So Have he, you been in touch with him along the oh, way? Oh, yeah. I've been at many of the sites and watched him go under the walkway over the Hudson and Poughkeepsie. Oh, that's great. And, you know, came various places to see him. And uh, he's doing fine. Okay. You know, he's... Okay. Uh, and feeling it a little bit. I bet, He's I bet. had some real adventures along the way. I imagine. But What's your personal perspective on this event today? Oh, I'm, I just am so moved by the work of the people to bring this treaty to light and to do the gargantuan task of organizing 175 paddlers, you know, and all the food and the ground crew. I think it's so important. And I, I'm a teacher. I teach first grade in New Paltz in the public schools. But I, every year I do an enormous Native American study with my students. And I feel it's critically important that we understand who was here first and what lessons the Native people have to share with us and have always had to share with us, lessons we haven't always listened to very carefully, as evidenced by what's going on right now in our environment. Right. This is not a traditional way to treat Mother Earth. No, no, I know. I, I'm. What do you think non-Native people can do to become more aware of this or more involved um, Do exactly this? what they're doing in this effort, you know, support, listen, be be guided by um, the vision of the Native people and honor certainly the treaties that were established that should always have been honored um, to, to just bring to light that work and to live, to up to it. live up to it, do everything that we possibly can to live it in the way that we should be living. Thank you so much for your time.